Portland, Oregon has a reputation for being a beautiful, quirky, hipster city. I found out for myself that yes, Portland is as weird and wonderful as people say. My first stop was to Harlow Cafe, a sweet little eatery with fair trade coffee and vegan organic foods. Delicious! Next, I hit the shops. Kimberly at Bombshell Vintage was so helpful. She's passionate about retro fashion and it shows. You can't miss Wells and Vern if you're a steampunk fan. They have everything from Victorian accessories to brass goggles. Night was falling, so I blasted back to Jupiter, a trendy boutique hotel with local art posted everywhere. Even the staff got in the Halloween spirit. <laughs> For dinner, my first mate Naomi and I ate at Bisaw's. Fine dining, but cozy. Bisaw's even had my favorite pumpkin cake and kava cocktail. For a real taste of weird, we headed to Steep and Thorny to see the most eclectic of performances. <laughs> the next morning, I was one hungry pirate. So I headed out to Portland's famous food truck pit stop. These are a staple in Portland culture. Next, I headed to Glowing Greens, a blacklight pirate themed mini golf. I was just golfing when pirates attacked me. They imprisoned me and tied me to the mast. But good thing for Naomi, we vanquished the villains. In celebration, I had a fairy dance party around my rental car from Argus Car Hire. So glad to have a car with lots of trunk space. I drove to Lincoln Restaurant, where I interviewed top chef Jen Lewis. After a trip to Italy, where she cooked in people's homes and restaurants, she brought her unique style back to Portland. She started her first restaurant when she was 28 and hasn't worked for anyone since. Jen loves cooking with fresh organic food and brings in all produce from a local farm only 10 miles away. No wonder she was named Best New Chef by Food & Wine magazine. Saturday nightlife in Portland was just beginning. We went to see the live performance of Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. Little efforts of my ghost-like charms I have seen grow them without a shrink. We danced the night away at Lovecraft, a gothic bar based on Cthulhu, the scary octopus god. This city truly lived up to Portlandia. Stay tuned for more weird adventures on LaCarmina.com.